Megan Ann here, and we're from here at Six Tips. So today we'll be teaching you how to do a cartwheel on the balance beam. Okay, and so we're going to be showing you some different views, and um, if you're starting off, make sure you have spot, which we will also be showing you how to do spot, and you also want to warm some up on a low beam like that. So let's get started. One of the most important parts of a cartwheel on balance beam is making sure that you have a straight cartwheel. So. If you have a little bit like ours, or just a line to practice on, you just do it like a normal car wheel, and what helps me is in something that get people confused are the hand placement on the So, this is just how I put my hand. So, for my first hand, I put mine down like that, with my index finger on the beam, and my thumb, and other three fingers holding on. And then the next hand is just on, kind of normally, like that. But it all depends on how you feel comfortable on the beam. Your hands need to grab the beam, they can't be flat, or else you're going to get unbalanced and fall. So, what you want to do is start along with this with a normal cardio. Okay. Rotate. And one thing that will help you stay on the beam is keep your shoulders and hips square with the beam. And what I mean by that is make sure you're always directly on top of the beam. And you can always tell where your feet are coming down by looking at your feet placement when your hands are on the beam. So, at this point, Sierra can see her feet coming down and land on the beam. And that's how you practice on a low beam. The next step is taking it to a high beam or a slightly taller beam that is off the ground. We do not have an actual gymnastics beam, but we do have this, which is um, just like doing it on the high beam. Um, all balance beams are four inches wide, so <clears throat> this is where a beam where you're really going to be able to actually grab onto it. Um, when I do my cartwheel, I grab onto it just about the same way Sierra does. So you really want to make sure um, when you stand up on the beam, you want to envision yourself doing it right over the top and make sure your legs go right over so your balance doesn't get off. So I'm going to show them to you. Just like that. And then when I come down, I make sure that to help limit wobbling, my hips are straight in line with the beam along with my shoulders. And I pull it up right away to help, you know, decrease the wobbling. So you want to keep practicing that.
video because um, we really can't make you do a program on the beam. These are tips to make sure that you can hopefully get it. And now we have one more thing. Many, many, many people ask where we get our bar and beam. And we, it's nimblesupply.net. We'll leave a link in the description. And that's where you can get, like, any kind of equipment, pretty much. There's also the Beam Store and Tumble Track. So, those are the three that we know. There's lots of others. Uh, but, you want, I don't know if this is with all bars, but our bar is also from Nimble Supply, and it's a great bar. The only problem that we had with it was that um, it was wobbly, so we had to nail it to the ground. Okay. And as well as saying, if you don't want to nail it to the ground, too, probably too wobbly for you then. Otherwise, if you do want it, but you can't nail it to the ground, if you lower the bar, it stays more secure. You just can't do as much stuff on it. And so that's where we got most of our stuff. We actually got the fold out beam from a neighbor, but they have fold out beam on all those websites. So just they don't have to ask and we don't have to reply. That's where we got all our stuff. Bye.